Good evening, good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Tabisile Kambula. I am from First Class Business Support Services. I'm a social media manager for Enabler Solutions. We do apologize for the delay. We had uh, technical issues, but now we are good to go. Thank you so much for your perseverance and for joining us this evening. I have with me Oneziwe Jackson. She is um, our client at Enabler Solutions. She has been with uh, our coach, Transformation Coach Mashudu, on her 360 degree change journey. So uh, Oneziwe today will be telling us about her journey uh over to you on easy way please introduce yourself i don't even know where to start right now <laughs> my heart is skipping a bit oh, okay my name is on jackson i am originally from a small town in the eastern cape called Putolo. um currently in the western cape in cape town because i work here so yeah, I'm not going to go into more details about myself because the questions that are upcoming will definitely tell you more of who I am, the journey that I've taken with Coach Mashudu. So yeah, um, Tapsile, I'm not, I'm not gonna spoil the questioning part. So I'm gonna give it over to you so that you can do the drilling. <laughs> with the Thank you so much for the introduction. Um, you have already told us where you're from. So I will firstly ask, how did you hear about our transformation coach, Mashudu? Um, so social media helped me um, to know about um, coach Mashudu, but I'd say that fate really uh, just followed the saying that says when the student is ready, the teacher prevails because I was just hungry for something that I didn't know what it was. And then because of the hunger, the, the, the teacher prevailed for me. So, but I, um, you know, someone recommended, you know, okay, just give a call. Um, you know, this lady, she may help you like go through the things that you, you know, you are stuck with. Um, so I gave Mashuru a call and then the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is like that. You just give her a call and she will, she will help you a lot. Um, my question is that, may you please tell us about the challenges that you had before you started with our coach? Um, so for me, be, like I said to you, I was longing and hungry for something because I was stuck. And there was no specific area of my life that I was saying, oh, okay, it's better than the other. Um, I was just being, feeling like I do not have control of anything, um, like nothing is moving forward. Um, you know, I, I've got, I'm, I'm qualified and I was working, you know, and people would think that when, you know, you've got a job, you've got a nice place to stay, you've got this, you've got this, you know, you've got things sorted. Um, but because we, we, we make the struggle so um, glamorous, you're like, okay, it's doable and all of that. And people would think we are okay, but I wasn't okay. I was really not okay, um, be it finances, relationships, health, um, you know, eating, uh, like everything was, I just had no control of my life at all. So those were the challenges that I had, but initially I didn't know I needed a coach. Um, but something that I knew was that I do not need a motivational speaker. I'm like, I, I've, I've had, uh, I've seen, you know, you go into this motivational speaking and then you are hyped up, you are happy, you like, you can take on the world. Um, but then three days down the line, you're like, um, what was the motivation about again? You back to your old self, back to your old reality, and you really don't know how to tackle um, the issues that you're facing. So I knew that that's, that's not what I want, uh, but I wasn't not sure or I didn't know what I wanted until um, coaching um, came my way and I, took the first step to say, oh, okay, let me give um, Coach Mashudu a call and just explain my frustrations. And then if this is going to work, she'll give me guidance on 
how do we handle this where do we even start you know because there's 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 different things that she does um so it, it's not one size fits all so you need to go and you know be vulnerable with her and tell her exactly where you are in your life so that she can recommend and you don't go to her when you've already diagnosed yourself she does the diagnosis and <laughs> tell you that oh, okay this is where I think we should start um, and then uh, depending on where she wants you to start she'll tell you what's next um, but you um, if wait, the most time you spend with her you will see what needs to happen you you like you no know, it, it changes <laughs> yeah so. <laughs> yes, uh, as I, I've been work, working with our coach, Transformation Coach Mashud, I've learned that one of the identifiers that you need a coach is feeling stuck, like you mentioned that you were feeling stuck and um, you need you had no control over your life. It's one of the identifiers, like you, you mentioned that on the outside, people saw that you have everything that one uh, needed so there's no stress for you in a way but uh yes the one of the identifiers that hunger that there's something missing that you can't really identify and sometimes it's it's the pain that you have like feeling depressed feeling lost feeling empty it's one of the identifiers and and stuck is one of the biggest identifiers like you also mentioned that uh, you didn't need a motivational speaker, but you needed a coach. Uh, the, that's the difference between the motivational speaker and the coach is that the coach holds you liable and they take your hand and take you through the journey. You walk with them through your journey. So as you went through your, your coaching journey, how did, um, how did it change things for you? Um, Yo... Sure, this is heavy. This is a this is a tricky <laughs> one. Um, because, because I started with coaching three months ago. Is it three or two months ago? I don't even know anymore. Um, but a lot has changed. You know, for those who are seeing me today, look at me once, look at me twice, look at me thrice, because this is the last time you are seeing me. Tomorrow, I will not be the same person that I, I am today. So it's like, it's so difficult for me to, to put it into words what has changed, but I, I'll try my best to, to articulate it in a way that everyone will understand. Um, because at first, when I, I was feeling stuck and frustrated with my life, I was seeing all the outside things. I was seeing all the problems that were facing my life. But when I started with the coaching, um, something that I've learned and it has really made a huge change was that life is not just happening to me. It's actually responding to me. Sure. Um, so it, it was like, ah, what does this mean? So my coach will tell you that I always go, huh, what does this mean? Because <laughs> things are, ah, ah, you, now you are trying to be a motivational speaker to me. But then with the coaching, you get resources to actually dig deeper on what does it mean when she says that life is responding to me? And I got to see that, you know, I was actually operating in a, in a, in, a, in a position where I was wounded and wounds that I didn't even know existed, you know, um, mother wounds, father wounds, these wounds. And um, when I realized that, you know, I had these wounds and coaches given me resources to heal them. Um, and now I'm seeing life responding in a different way. Um, and I started to love myself more which is something that, you know, most people don't do um, because we make loving as someone else's responsibility. So we're like, oh, okay, my parents should love me, my don't don't need, my don't don't should love me. But it's yeah. actually, it, it needs to start with us. Um, so I started with me that I needed to love myself. And coach in every session would be like, what have you done for yourself? Because we identified that my love language was acts of service. So she's like, oh, okay, 
acts of service. So you've been expecting people to show you these acts of service. What have you done for yourself? So first coaching session, I'm like, no, I didn't do anything. So what am I supposed to do? The, this one is supposed to do it for me. This one was supposed to do it for me and all of that. So those small changes, like I, I came in and I was thinking that I, I'm fine with everything. But when we unpacked and realized that the actions that I was like, like busy um, carrying on in my life, they were a reflection of my beliefs. I didn't even know I had beliefs. I'm like, what beliefs? Because yeah, I'm okay, I pray. Um, and that's the only belief I have. But when we started unpacking the beliefs, and as soon as we unpack, we heal it, we change it, um, then I start seeing a response in life. Um, some of the things I won't be able to go into details with on on this live uh, but maybe on another one because they still you know in in in, in very <laughs> baby baby mode yes. yeah so but uh it, it it it's just blew my mind how my life has the the way i i speak with like at the conversations that i'm willing to entertain has has totally changed there's just conversations I'm like uh -uh. I really do not I hope it's not load shedding <laughs> <laughs> oh no we do have load shedding actually and we're waiting for the light to come back but you know <laughs> it's nice so, always yes, okay. you make so those, those those like those changes like it uh, it it makes me every single day to say that coaching is what I needed and the reflection that I normally have is that you know we've been looking at athletes we've been looking at soccer players rugby players and most successful people they've got coaches but yeah. us here feeling stuck we're like no this coaching thing is not for us um I was one of those people that were saying I I, I'm not going to pay someone to tell me what to do. But now I'm realizing that for me to be the best in what I want and in what I do, I do need a coach. And I've also realized that I, there's aspects of my life. There's like my, my life is in compartments. So there's this yes. section that needs its own coach, this section. And so um, now... Uh, with Coach Mashudu, we're just transforming me. You know, people that know me from the past two months will tell you I never took pictures. Like, because I was like, I, I don't even like this body that I'm in. It is so, it is so, so judgmental. But ever since I started coaching, I'm like, Ooh, body for who? Um, this is my body. I've accepted it and I love it. Um, it might not be uh, who I wanted to be, but I've now, because life is responding to me, I was saying this body, this body, this body, that, but now I've changed and I'm saying more positive things about my body and I'm seeing it re respond to that. But I, oh, it's this thing, is, ah, ah, you know? Um, so those are the change, amazing changes that I'm seeing in my life, relationships with family, friends in general, um, re my relationship with myself, my relationship with money, um, relationship with food. So all those things have improved a lot in the past three months. I know um, that I need to eat to, 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 to fuel my body. I do not need to, to eat because I am numbing or numbing a, a certain feeling or emotion that I have, you know, yes. uh, I, I need to eat because my body needs to be fueled, but not because I am feeling bored, not because uh, someone dumped me, not because I'm eating because I need to feel. So those relationships have just changed drastically. Oh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Hope I've answered your question. <laughs> yes, it sounds it's so amazing. And, and it, it sounds like you did receive a holistic transformation like your life was changed from inside out um, just just before you go a holistic um something that i need to mention i am yeah. far from, from 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 being the person that i think i want to be i yeah. like i am very far from that but uh, when i look back from with the day i called mashudu and now 
I'm like, there's a huge difference. I buried that Onezi way long time yeah. ago. And I've been burying my old safe every single day. Like I said earlier, that if you're seeing me now, I'm burying this now. Tonight, there's a burial happening and we're all invited <laughs> to bury the old because tomorrow there is not going to be this one. So, so holistic, yes, but there's still a lot of work to be done. Yes, uh, it's a journey that takes time, but also bring change. A, a day, but there will be a burial. And we sing rest in peace in advance to the old Onezue as we're going to see another, ch another change from Onezue starting uh, sessions. Yeah, yes, yes, correct. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, May okay. you please tell us what do you love the most about uh, the coaching sessions? Oh, um, so what's amazing with the coaching shared sessions is that I don't get to be judged. I, I, if I say, um, let's say, what example can I, okay. Let's say my focus was managing my money. Let me just make that. And then I come back to coach. I'm like, yo, coach, um, you know what? I blew all that money that you said I was, I must, I must, I must save and end. And the, there's no judgment like how honestly we've done so much work and now you are going back to your old habits and, and, and it's a matter of, um, okay, this means there's a deeper belief between you and money. What is your belief? We need to unpack it. Why do you feel the need to do this one, two, three, and four? You know, so that because we're always going back to the fact, fact that life is responding to me. You understand? So yes. the fact that I decided to go and blow the money, um, life was responding to me. My The inner me, life was responding to that. So it was not just happening in my life. The emergency that just didn't happen it was a response of who I am inside. Um, so, so then you feel comfortable to say um, even the things that you wouldn't say to your friends, um, coach, and also something that is very important with coaching that I've now learned is that you need to vibe with the coach. You know, you need to suss and see. Oh, okay, my vibing with this person. Um, Mashudu would tell you when, um, when, when I, she asked me sometime or she was doing a survey and she was like, when you saw me the first time, what did you think? I'm like, see, see. <laughs> 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 very introverted introvert because like you exactly, but that's what she is. But, um, I vibed with her because I'm an extroverted introvert. When I got yeah. comfortable with her, then I, couldn't stop talking. <laughs> so it's important that people, um, you know, that you you have that vibe, you understand each other. There's no point going to a coach that you don't believe in. You're like, oh, yeah. okay, this person is just telling me what they wrote, uh, read in a book. Um, but yeah, so that's what I love about the sessions. And it's one-on-one. -on -one. There's nobody else. It's just the two of you, um, you know, if, the coach is taking notes about what you, um, you know, that your progress that you're making, things that are coming up and they'll guide you, you know, um, you keep talking and um, the coach will write something down and then you'll go back to it. By the way, this is something, this is what you need to do for you to fix that problem that you didn't even know when you were talking that it, it was bringing up another issue. Um, it, it's, it's a lot of work. You're... <laughs> work the coach doesn't do the work for you i wish she could like i wish she would just oh okay on easy way yeah i'll do the work for you and when i you reap the benefits but it's not that you it's a lot of work you need um like i need to be committed to it i there's homework there's the then things that you must write and do on a daily basis there's feedback that you must 
like it's a lot of work so it needs a lot of commitment but like you said earlier that a coach holds you accountable so um as much as i do not want to disappoint myself in the journey i do not want to make mashudu feel like she has failed in her coaching thing with me because now i decide to just you know a coaching session and after i'm done and not do the homework so yeah Yes, I, it, it sounds like, like to me, uh, it sounds like coaching is like a discovery journey where you you find things that are hidden deep down. It's like an adventure. You find clues and you find the next and the next and the next. And it's also a two way, um, a two way journey. You need your your coach need to play her role and then you also have to play your role as well in 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 in, in this adventure or in this journey um before we we wrap up and thank you so much for making time is there anything else that you would like to share um about your coaching experience thus far um one thing that i would share is firstly i am hooked to coaching I am never leaving this coaching thing, never in my life, because I can see um, the benefits of it. Um, and like I said, I would like to encourage anyone who's feeling lost like I did to reach out to, like there's a lot of coaches. Like I said, you just need to vibe with the right one and then you know you, you, you do your thing. Um, and I know, uh, you know, I, I feel like I have achieved most of most things because firstly, I couldn't do a video. My coach pushed me to do a video first. Now she has pushed me to do a live. So I don't know what else <laughs> the human being is going to push me to do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> having a coach, it's, it's having someone who's going to push you out of your comfort zone and a person that's going to make you realize that the dreams and um, the aspirations that you have, they're actually possible. And also like I had like a lot of self-doubt, I'd have brilliant ideas, things that I wanna do, but I doubted them. And a coach made me realize that, you know what? They, they, these things are for me. No one else is going to do these things. So if I doubt myself, then I'm gonna go, to the grave with these things that I'm thinking about, no one else is gonna do them. So it's having that someone, because even in friendship, sometimes you don't have a person that catches or gets you what you're trying to say to them. But as soon as you have a coach, that person stands a gap for you. And you're, okay, I think we we, we need to wrap up because now you, you get <laughs> 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 really 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 an amazing journey it's not a, it's not like going to a motivational speaker and then there's no one holding you accountable it's not like you are reading a book on your own and you like you don't even remember the first page that you read uh you're hoping that in the next few months you'll go back and read it and remember it's a continuous journey you you keep learning you keep loving yourself you like no oh, i wish i could kiss myself <laughs> And hug yourself. <laughs> you learn that. Oh, she, she teaches you that. Hug yourself. Tell yourself that you love yourself. And you're like, I this sounds funny. And like, what is this? I'm used to telling people. <laughs> and and she's like, Have you met yourself? Like, oh, I, I don't know. I haven't met myself. But ever since I've done the coaching, I've met who on his way is. Um, someone who I have never met all my life. Now I know there is someone, not the body, not the mind that keeps talking in my mind, but there's an onesie where inside me that I need to nurture, love, um, do acts of service for and all of those things. So it's an amazing journey. I'm not going back. Not at all. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, Onesio. It sounds like it is an amazing discovery journey that you had. That's why we titled our live today, 360 Degree Change Journey. It's It's been an amazing journey. And I know that our coach is a, a, a huge believer of self-love. And there is an upcoming uh, 
sessions for self love please stay tuned on the on the page and thank you so much for sharing our journey uh, your journey with us and i uh, was so proud of of the person that you've become and your commitment it's um with our transformation coach Mashud. and i believe there's still more that you're going to see that you're still going to recover uh, discover about yourself and uh thank you so much for uh staying with us today and sharing your journey with us i hope everyone at home had a good time and you have a lot to learn and if you um if you clicked or you felt something when you were hearing on azu's testimony please uh be in contact with our coach our contact details are on the page or you can send us an inbox and we'll respond to you we are we as the social media manager team at first class are here for you to 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 take you through um the journey of contacting our coach or getting in, in touch with our coach and like honestly we mentioned you need to vibe with our coach it's, it's not that you need to contact Co coach mashudu for you to be in a space where you wish but you need to find a coach who will you will vibe with and um we believe that our transformation coach at enabler solutions coach mashudu is the best and um thank you so much for joining us before we let you go on is there anything that you would like to say to everyone who's watching the live the live or who will see the video later on what i'd like to say is that life is responding to everyone so um the 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 blames um that we are pointing at others um it's it's not them it's not them it's us um so the sooner you you do the work and finding um the the way that you are thinking you are doing things your beliefs um so to understand the way life is responding to you the better then you'll live a peaceful life because you'll understand people do not have to do things to you and for you before you do it for yourself so you need to start with yourself and understand really really life is responding to you you are just calling these things in so um yeah let's just do the work um commit to doing the work find a coach for yourself and then you shall see your 360 degree change. Yay. <laughs> right. um, yeah, so I think that's all I'm going to say. Um, yeah, I know coach is still gonna push me to do more of these lives um, <laughs> because she knows I'm uncomfortable doing them. So I know I shall be seeing you again um, soon. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. And we can see the transformation like with us who, had, who didn't see you before you started this journey, you will believe that you are natural, you like the camera and you also look beautiful. And yeah, we, we would, would, would believe that you were not uh, in love with the camera or you were shy. Like yes, you are natural. And <laughs> thank you so much again for sharing your journey with us. We really appreciate that you made time and you stayed behind at the office just to spend time with us. And I hope everyone at home learned a lot from you and that uh, life responds. And you have to you have to be on the positive side so that you get positive response. And thank you so much again for tuning in. And next week we're going to be live again. Uh, please do join us. And uh, on the twenty seventh, on the twenty fourth of July, we have a session with Coach Mashudu, healing uh, mother wound. If you you feel that you you need to attend the session, the, the registration is still open. You can have a look at our page for for more details. Thank you so much for joining us, and have a lovely evening from me, Tabisele Kambula, and Oneziwe. 360 degree. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>